Hey everyone, it's Tiara. I'm really glad to make this video. Um, it's a beautiful Friday night or Friday evening. I'm sitting on my sitting on the deck here in Baltimore City, just enjoying the breeze. I uh, sorry this video is a week late. Um, had to deal with some family stuff last week and do some traveling. This week I started an internship in pretty much completed a major class project. So it's been, you know, I've been ripping and running, ripping and running, but it's been good. Life has been really good. So this week I want to talk about um, stereotypes. I said um, that was a topic I mentioned in my last video. If you haven't watched that, please go check it out. So I want to talk about stereotypes in black women in health and fitness and talk about my experiences with it and if that's had any effect on like my journey at all. So... You know, it, black women are, 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 are amazing. Are, we are fantastic. We are magical and all that stuff. But we put up with so much crap. So much crap. And and the I think one of the stereotypes that really gets me is the, um, flat, the fat black woman stereotype. That we don't like to take care of our health. We, um, we prioritize our hair over the gym. Um, we're okay more about our nails than lifting weights. And I'm like, that's not true. That's not true. And of course, like there's a thing that we don't like to eat vegetables or fruits. The only thing we prefer are like junk foods, like, or like fried chicken or mac and cheese and stuff like that. Also not true. Yes, we enjoy those things, but it's not like, you know, you know, all of us are, are like your, your, your stereotype that you see on television. Now, there are some health concerns that affect black women um, more than others, and I'll get into that in like a blog post because I, I want to write extensively about that. But when, you, when you're at the gym and you're trying to you're trying to get through a set or whatever, you're really just enjoying your workout because you're really happy that you're doing something that's going to benefit your life in the long run. The last thing you want to hear is having some dude come up to you and, yes, this has exclusively been most pretty much men I mean I've had like a couple of women here and there but it's always been 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 by men and, and unfortunately black men too and for some reason they think it's okay to come up you know to me at the gym and say things like you know I'm glad to see your sister up in here working out working on her thing working on her health you know because I wish more of y'all were out here and I'm like well we are out here you just found one and there's another one right over there and she's like super fit and then there's another one right over there on the on the treadmill there's another one right over there on the elliptical there's another one right over there and right over there we're here however i feel like if they acknowledge the fact that we do take like take care of ourselves and we do have our own running groups like black girls running things like that then they'll have to acknowledge that their stereotype sort of stereotype stereotype is bullcrap it's BS because it doesn't hold up. Um, and I feel like that's also another way to kind of like shame black women into into not fitting in a specific mold of what they think they're or they think that they were they were like or were supposed to be like. Um, and I remember like when I first started working and like I said, when I first started working out, I was I was natural. I've been natural for about eight, almost eight years. And I remember like um you know, my hair was, I mean, my hair is short, but it was like right here, like right here. Like there was no like stretching or anything like that. Um, and I remember like some dudes coming up to me saying, oh yeah, you know, cause you know, you're a natural girl. So I know you really don't care. And I'm like, and I'm like one that's kind of offensive cause I do care about how my hair looks. I, I care about how I look. Like just because I can care about my hair and actually come in here and work out and at the same time, I can do two things at once. So again, it's insulting. It is really insulting. Um, it's almost like, you know, when I've been told that, hey, you speak so well. Wow. And I'm like, yeah, because I went to school and I learned how to read. I learned how to read out loud. And, you know, my, my parents made sure I did, I did pretty well in school. Yep. Yeah, we're out here. Um, and also, it's not cool to... To come up to black women and shame uh, to shame other black women. So, and I've had instances where you know I've 
like again, some dudes come up to me in the gym and they'll point to someone else. They'll point to another another, another black woman and t- and usually this this black woman is is usually fat. And they'll be like, "Yeah, yeah, you know, cuz you know she, you know she doesn't care about her health." And I'll like just and I'll just look at them and I'm like, "That doesn't like why would you come up and say that to me? Why would you think that that would be okay if um or why why would you think that I would co-sign on that? Clearly she's in here working out. So obviously she kind of cares. And the last thing that she needs is for someone else to to throw stereotype on her or or throw some judgment on her um because she's because she's a, a larger lady. See what I'm saying? And you know, and, and I know other black women can relate to this because we did we again, we put up with so much and it's frustrating. Um, and it's also discouraging and I think, and also, also think it's really harmful, um, in the way that black women are viewed to, to, to just assume that we don't care about our health just because I don't know, the television told you so, or, or someone, you know, or, or the way that, you know, we've been, been portrayed over the last, like, or over the last decades or so. Sorry, my dog is like freaking out right now. She's like running around and stuff like that. But anyway. Um, that's what I've dealt with. And no, it hasn't, it hasn't deterred me from my journey at all. Because when I, because when I started my journey, like, and if you, you can go back and watch that video, how I started my weight loss journey. Um, you know, I was already, my mind was already set on the kind of, you know, body that I wanted and what I needed to do. And I wasn't willing to let anyone deter me from that. It's just really annoying to have someone diss some, diss another black one in front of your face or, or give you a compliment to make you feel like you're one of the good black women. Um, I'm in the middle of a video, Daisy. Come on now. Sorry. She's just... She's bossy. Kind of like me. Anyway. But yeah. I know this video is, a, this video is shorter than, than the last one. But I just want to kind of get that off my chest. Because I'm like, dude... Do better, men. Please do better. If you see, if you see a black woman working out, and if you feel like, wow, this is the first time seeing a black woman out, one, first, I won't, I don't believe you. Two, open up your mind and be encouraging. I feel like that's the theme of every video I've done so far. It's just to be encouraging, um, and you know, probably go talk to some black women too, and talk to them like they're your equal, not like they're some some woman that you saw in like a music video and you're expecting her to look like that or whatever. You know, just treat her like a normal person because that's what we are. We're all people trying to get better. So that's it. Okay. Um, other website stuff. So I'll have a new recipe posted up um, this evening. It'll be my braised um, Moroccan chicken with lemon and olives. With that recipe, you definitely, I think I use like one lemon in that recipe. So, um, and that one lemon does a lot of work. So... If you don't like like a lot of lemony flavor, use half of a lemon or add some sugar later on. Um, and the olives are really salty, so that kind of like adds to that too. So, you know, um, feel free to adjust to some sugar if you need to. Other things. I think that's it. Oh, yes, and I have another blog post coming up about mise en place and why it's important. And I think, well, I think every home cook should, um, should, do it, should use it because um, it helps with saving time while you're cooking, helps you clean up faster. Um, and it also minimizes mistakes. So when you're up here, when you're preparing like my roasted chicken and thoughts recipe and you realize that you don't have cherry tomatoes or you realize that you don't have, I don't know, the mixed, mixed vegetables that that I have in there. Um, if you, you may not have a proper substitute. I don't know. However, if you mise en place and get everything, um, ready ahead of time, you won't make any mistakes and the recipe will come out just fine according to my directions. Okay. Um, yeah, so if you like this video, please like it. Uh, if you want other people to see it, please share it. Please leave a comment. If you, ha- if you want to share your thoughts about, um, stereotypes that have been thrown your way, uh, during your health and fitness journey, please do that. And of course, subscribe to this channel and subscribe to my website, uh, cookingtoatea.com. If you want to interact with me, uh, definitely do, the best way to do that is through Instagram. I'm on there all the time. So check that out. And that Instagram handle is at cooking to a T. All right, guys. So I will see you next week. 
and I'll have another exciting topic for you then. Cool. Have a good weekend. Bye.